Today I'm going to show you an M2 SSD enclosure. It has um, USB-C and USB-A connectors, one on each end. Today I want to show you about an enclosure that I bought from Amazon. It's a uh, an M2 SSD enclosure. Uh, you can use it to put in an NVMe or SATA M2 SSD into the enclosure and have the enclosure work as a thumb drive. Whatever capacity of uh, SSD you want to put in it. Um, so I'm going to show you how, to, how it goes together. Inside the enclosure box We have the enclosure itself, which comes with two ends. It's got a USB-A and a USB-C. And inside the enclosure is a circuit board upon which you place your SSD. Oh, the package also comes with a set of instructions and some mounting hardware for putting, the, uh, putting it together. You know that in the box for the SSD, we will have the SSD. Installation of the SSD is fairly straightforward. There are two methods. One is the toolless method, in which you just simply insert the card into the motherboard and slide the whole assembly into the case. The method I'm going to use is the one with uh, that requires tools. Um, as you can see, it's got a screwdriver, uh, a screw, and a little grommet that use that is used for securing the SSD into the enclosure. Line up your SSD and gently insert it into the enclosure. You will notice that when you let it go, there's an obvious gap. That's where this grommet comes in. Place the grommet on the end of the SSD where it fits and push it down against the board. Hold the assembly, turn it over, place the screw into the hole, with the included screwdriver, attach the screw to the grommet. That will hold your board in place, your SSD in place. Take our metal enclosure, and insert the SSD assembly into the enclosure. The USB-A side goes in to the enclosure and then there's a little cap that goes on the end of the SSB-A or USB-A.
and that will keep it from sliding out. You have your USB-C cap. And your USB-A cap. And there is two terabytes of storage space in an assembly with two USB ends. Let's connect it to a computer and see how it does. Okay, we're going to plug it into a computer and see how it registers. As you can see, it's not immediately recognized. That's probably because we've got to do a little disk work on it. Let's go to disk management. has to initialize the disk it says and there we are two terabytes of unallocated space format it create a new simple volume use the defaults for now And there we go, we now have a new 2 terabyte volume E formatted in TFS. Let's go back and see what we've got here. And there we are. Now, of course, you can partition it. You can do anything with it that you could with any other thumb drive or with any other hard drive. So, there you go. The assembly and testing of the SSD enclosure. I'll have links uh, down in the description on uh, where you can get it from Amazon. Of course you can get it wherever you find it. Uh, it will not be a referral link so don't be afraid of clicking on it. I'm not going to get a uh, any kind of monetary compensation for you clicking on the link.